Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell where you will see more great videos like this. Um, today we're doing something really quite straightforward. Um, we are going to be making a book. Um, so first things first is we'll get our cube out um, and then we're going to scale on the Y just to give the book its uh, thickness. Okay, just then tab and I want number three for faces. And then I'm going to select the top, middle, and bottom. And then what I'm going to do is inset. So click on, I'll press I. And that will give us the book thickness. Um, what you may want to do is press number two to get the edge select and that one there. And then just bring them on back. Bring them on back to the end there. Okay, um, so what we need to do now is select the faces. Okay, so we want to select the faces, we want to E and scale. Okay, and then that will select the bottom one. Faces, we want to E and then scale it in. So that gives us our book um, pages <laughs> um, you may need to just select press number two if you're using blender 2.8 press number two select that edge select that edge and then just bring it on back um, do control R because we're going to do a loop tool and then what we're going to do is select this face so we go into number three, we go this face, this face. We're going to select all these middle faces here. Uh, that one and that one. And then what we're going to do, we're just going to bring it out so it gives it a little bit of a curve. Because obviously this, I mean, this is going to be a relatively low sort of like poly. But also what you can do is if you come out into, press tab back into object, press W, smooth shading, and then it gives you a bit of a smooth overall okay um so we just go back into edit mode what we're going to do is we're going to select all these outside faces because this is the outside of the book okay Oop. do i want that one probably not okay and then that one that one, that one, I do want that one. I want those ones as well, and the ends. Okay, make sure they're all selected. We're looking good, we're looking good. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to give it a material. So I just click new, just say green. And then assign, let's just go in here. Okay, so the whole thing is that color, but that's fine. And then we can just select these ones here. And then just click on new. And then just like a darky, dark off white, and then assign. Because we're just assigning it to the pages. And there's your first book. Bada beam, bada boom. Nice and simple i must say um what you can do then if you want do shift d for duplicate and then move along on the y scale you can also s press s and scale it in on the y and then that will give you a, th a thinner or thicker book if you want depending on what you want just sling it on next to it now we've obviously got our materials there okay and we've got our duplicated book so you can see here it's got like number two display number of users of this data so that's because it's got two so if we just click on there now it's going to give us a new material and then what we can do is just change this material to blue okay um there we go <laughs> went a bit wrong but <laughs> 
Okay, and then we. <laughs> then we can <laughs> um, oh, what I'll do is I'll show you that again. <laughs> okay, so select your book, Shift D on the Y. Okay, now we're going to do like a really thick book, scale it on the Y. Um, might be like an encyclopedia. Okay, so <laughs> basically we want to select the number here, okay? So we've got a new material. So then number five here, this will be our new material, okay? And then we can, yeah, you can just duplicate on the Y. And then new material, so like a yellow book or darkish book. It's quite glossy actually. What it might be worth doing is just taking the um, specular down. You can see it's sort of like changing. Okay, and um, what we'll do is we'll move this one over and then just rotate on the X. So it looks like it's holding the other books up. Let's just get on in there. Move it on over. And then what you can do then is just create a plane. Create a plane, bring it on down. So we're gonna just do like a shelf. We're gonna scale it up on the Y. Okay, oh, we need to bring that over, <laughs> up and across. And then just scale it on the X, just to make it a bit deeper. And then we want to go into edit and then extrude. So we've got a little shelf there. And maybe we'll put another, go back into object mode, control, uh, shift A. And then another plane maybe. Let's rotate on the Y to 90 and then let's just move it on out and then scale it uh, where are we scale S on the Y and then S on the Z okay and there's our books uh, there's our light Let's just bring it on over. Put a little bit of light on the subject and go into our render view. And then if you want, there's our render view. As I say, you can just turn the specular down, which will, I know books are shiny, but just take the, oh, well, it looks like metallic. Looks kind of metallic. And then what you can do if you wanted, if you just go back into like edit mode on what, any of the books. Um, do control R. And then we're going to do a couple of loop cuts. And then if you bring it down, and then alt select, bring it down. And then if you go into number three, which is face select. And then create a new new material, um, say glossy, and then like yellow, and then it will give it like a um, gold, I need to assign it, go into shade, and you got like a goldy effect, so you've got like a little reflection in there, and you can do that on any of them, you can create any pattern you like really, it's quite good. Um, yeah, so there's your book shelf and books on there. I mean, you can change it whatever you want. It's just really for like if you have a little scene and you want to add some add bits and pieces in there, you can just chuck them in there and move them around to your heart's content. You can, as I say, you can make them as thick as you like or as thin as you like, as tall or small. Just scale it out, and yeah, job done. Um, so hopefully you got something out of this video. 
um, leave a comment down below don't forget to give us a thumbs up and uh, don't forget to hit that notification bell and subscribe to the channel um, yeah and um, thanks for watching this uh, short video and we'll see you next time ta-da